Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today let's talk about the Scatter Objects add-on. I was actually on the fence about whether or not to make this tutorial, because Markham 3D has actually created a tutorial that is extremely similar to this one. So I'm just going to say up front that a lot of the credit for this will go to Markham 3D. I'll drop a link in the description to his tutorial for the Scatter Object add-on. But the point of this channel is to help people, and if anybody hasn't seen that tutorial, and they do see this tutorial, and it's helpful to them, that's my goal. So you might have heard of the Scatter add-on, which is actually a paid add-on that you can find on the Blender market. This add-on that we're going to talk about today is actually completely free, and it comes shipped with Blender. So it's super easy to configure and everything like that. From my experience, I've found that this add-on is quite a bit easier to control than particle systems. So this is probably going to be my go-to whenever I'd like to scatter a collection of objects all over another object. So let's hop into Blender here. To enable the Scatter Object add-on, you just hop into Edit and then Preferences. If you go to Add-ons here, you can check the Scatter Objects, assuming you've typed in something that looks like Scatter, and then the add-on's all enabled. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and pretty quick, which is cool. So I'm going to box select this little group of debris that I have down here. And if you look really closely, there's a pretty nice hydraulic element here, which you can find at the end of the video. There's a free pack of them. If you select your ground plane, and it's pretty important that you select the debris first and then the ground plane, you can hit spacebar and type something like scatter objects, and you'll get that command here. Now once you enable that, if you draw on the plane, there's sort of a path, and the debris follows around the path. So there's some wonderful control that you can have here that would actually give you an advantage over something like a particle system, which is exactly why I would use this over a particle system. If you go to the Active Tool tab up here, you can see Object Scatter, and you can see all sorts of nice settings for it. There's the Seed, so that's just randomness. You can set the density, so however much you want or however little you want, which is pretty nice. You can set the scale of the objects and the random scale of the objects. So if you have that all the way down, they're all the same size. And all the way up, you got all sorts of different sizes. There's the radius, which is how close your objects are to the initial path that you drew. So I like to have those a little bit scattered out. And then you've got your offset, which is however close or far away from the ground they are. And there's also rotation, which can be pretty handy. Now once you get a result that you think you're going to like, you can hit enter and just take a look. Hey, that's pretty nice. So I'd kind of like to have a bit more of a concentration around here. So I'm just going to do that once more. So select debris, select the plane, and scatter objects. <laughs> that thing is huge. All right, that's probably good there. And that's pretty nice. So like I mentioned, this tends to be quite a bit more efficient than a particle system. So that's why I would use it. So that's the scatter object add-on. As I alluded to before in the tutorial, I'm currently giving away a completely free hydraulic kitbash element pack. You'll find a link in the description that will lead you to that. Once again, being upfront with you, when you enter your email, that will add you to a email list that I have. And that's just a way for me to keep in contact with you and send you resources and update you on new tutorials. So I hope you found all this helpful. I'll catch you again next week. Cheers!